Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So this tutorial will be about stone columns. But before I start, if you're new to this channel and you're, a, uh, you're an engineer and you love to learn, just subscribe to this channel, it will be very helpful. So I've been asked a lot about stone column. And I decided to make a tutorial about how to make stone column in Plexus. So if you have any question, you can leave your question in the comment box and I will make or a video or I will email you to help. So first of all, before I start, Plexus is not made to calculate stone columns. We should be clear about this, but you can modelize them in a simplified way. But it's not, uh, very, uh, it will not take in precision all the effect of the stone column. So before I start, let me explain what stone column is. So stone column or vibro stone columns are aggregate piers or aggregate piers are an array of crushed stone pillars placed with a vibrating tool in the soil. So we make a hole in the soil, we put stone, we crush them with the vibrating tools. So it's a way to improve uh, the soil. This is how we do them. We do, put the soil and then we, uh, we put the stone and then we vibrate them. So if you need a book about this one, I uh, advise you to, uh, to see uh, Principal Foundation Engineering, Braja Das. He explains everything about stone column, how it is uh, done and everything. So why Plexus is not very, uh, very good for stone column? Because when you put a stone column and you vibrate it in the soil, the soil which is next to it will change its characteristics. So Plexus will not take this into consideration and will not take uh, uh, the consideration that the soil is compact next to the next to the pile or the stone column. But I'll show you how we can draw it. So first of all I've created two materials, rock and clay. So how do we model it? I model a single uh, a single uh, stone column. Okay, so this is the column. I've drawn it. Now I put right click and create a surface. Then I extrude the surface. Let's say it's minus 10. So now we have our column. We should assign the material, which is rock. And we should create a load. We can also create an interface, but I won't create it. We can create it by extruding this line which will create a surface and create an interface. I delete this line now and I create a uh, surface load which is minus 20 kilonewtons which is equivalent to 2 tons. So if you need to draw more, uh, more columns you can just use the array or draw uh, another circle and do the same thing. So this column is the diameter of 1 meter. Now I'll create mesh. Okay, it's finished. I'll go to stage construction. And I'll add a phase. I turn on the loads. Let me hide this one. So this material here, I'll change it to rock. Then I launch the calculation. <coughs> Okay, so now I'll make a section on Plexus. Let me make it here, which is 12, 1, 12, 0, 12. I press OK. Okay, I'll go to phase 2. So maybe I didn't turn on the load. Okay. 
okay so now it works I remake a section and now we can see the effect of the load on the soil which is next to the stone we can see how it starts and then it diffuses with the displacement you can also see the stress you can calculate and see the stress around the column so you can also model this in 2d uh, how do you model it in Plexus 2D? Well, you go to Soil and you don't model a circle column, but you model. Uh, let me see this view. You model this like uh, like this view here, a soil here, and another soil here, and you assign the con uh, the you assign the rock. So this is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.